Okay, this is a game that I call Shoot the Gap. It is a uh, soccer type game that I play with uh, third, fourth, and fifth graders in uh, my physical education class, uh, working on soccer skills. Uh, the main focus of the skills we're working on in this is kicking skills and dribbling skills. So on the, the way you set up the gym here is you line your students up in a relay formation. So each one of these is a pair of students here um, on a team and each one has their own soccer ball here. And then um, they're lined up on the, behind the half court line. Uh, you can decide on whatever uh, boundary line you would like. Um, then these dots here are all uh, poly spots that the students are trying to obtain. And then at the one end of the gym, we have cones all set up as the goals for where the kids are going to try and uh, shoot the gap. So on the signal, on the signal, the first person from each team would they run, dribble their ball now, dribble their ball uh, in between their feet using soccer skills, and they dribble their ball to any poly spot that they would like. And once they trap the ball and they stop the ball on that poly spot, they have to try and kick their ball either with the front part of their toe or the inside of their foot and try and score a goal or shoot the gap. So the student would sh kick their ball and let's say it goes in between the cones. Okay, they've scored a goal. Then they obviously would pick up this poly spot, uh, you know, and they hold it with their hand. And then they run and go retrieve their uh, soccer ball. And then this is the thing you got to kind of watch out for is the kids want to think when you initially start the game, they want to pick it up with their hands, but they can't. They must dribble the ball back to their teammate at the same time while holding the poly spot that they just obtained. When they score the goal, put it uh, behind their teammate and then the next go behind the line Then the next person would go. And then this student would do the same thing. They would dribble their ball to a poly spot now let's say that this student kicks their ball and it hits the cone and they don't score a goal. Okay, then they're not allowed to pick up that poly spot. They have to go get their ball and then obviously dribble it back to their team and then wait their turn again. Now, uh, in regards to the to the height of where the kids can kick, because you know goals uh, in soccer are only so high, uh, I just have a line marked up on my gym where if the ball goes above that line, it's a it's uh, if it goes above that line, they're not allowed to get their poly spot, or there was a no goal. And if it goes below that line, then it is a goal. Because uh, what happens is sometimes the kids will go on their dot, and then they'll kick their ball, and obviously it'll it'll go flying in the air. And if it goes in between the cones and hits below that line, I consider it a goal. And if it goes above that line, then it's a no goal. But uh, that's kind of up to you on how you want to do it. But Anyway, the game, the game keeps going. Once all these poly spots have been obtained, then obviously the team that has the most poly spots at the end is the winner. And uh, again, you can use different boundary lines. Um, for instance, like in my gym, what I use is the half court line for the fourth and fifth graders, maybe move the line a little closer uh, for the third for the third graders. But uh, anyway, it's a... Uh, Good little game, my kids seem to love it, called Shoot the Gap, and a good little team working game, working on soccer skills, and uh, more information will be on my YouTube channel and the blog. Thanks.